We're going to read atmospheric information using our PicoDev atmospheric sensor and a microbit V2. We'll connect these two together and run some example code that will measure temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity. And using air pressure, we can even detect changes in altitude. More on that to come. To follow along, you'll of course need a microbit V2, a PicoDev atmospheric sensor and adapter for microbit, and a PicoDev cable. Connect your microbit into the adapter. Make sure the buttons are facing up. Connect one end of the lead to either of the connectors on the adapter and connect the other end to your PicoDev sensor. I'm gonna use a PicoDev platform to keep everything nice and secure. And connect to your computer with USB. We're going to download the three files that we need for this example. Find the download section in the article, right click each link and select save link as. Save these somewhere that makes sense. I'm using a folder called PicoDev in my documents. Open Thonny, connect to your micro bit, and navigate to where we save those three files. If you need help getting started with using Thonny for micro bit, we have a guide for that too. If you prefer, you could follow along using python.microbit.org instead of using Thonny. We have a guide for that too. I prefer Thonny though, because you get the nice plots linked in the article. I'll just restart the backend and I can see that micro bit has connected. I'll select all the files by selecting the first, hold shift, select the last, right click and upload to micro bit. And this is all we need to do to run the example. In the shell, press control D to reboot the micro bit. And we now have atmospheric data streaming up the shell. It looks very busy, but let's have a look at it. In the left column, we have the temperature in degrees C. In the middle column, we have air pressure in hectopascals. That's the same as millibar, if you're more familiar with millibar. And we have 52% relative humidity in the studio today. Now, if I move that up just a little bit, you can see that I can actually change the air pressure that we read. Down here, I'm reading about uh, 1,012.8, and up here, I'm reading 1,012.7. So just small changes in altitude can actually change the air pressure that you read. And that gives me an idea. I'll stop the script with control C because that could be a little bit distracting. And we'll open up the main.py file that's stored on our computer. These other two files are for driving the sensor. Okay, this is our example. So we can see the first line imports the device module that's to drive the, the atmospheric sensor. We also import a sleep function. This is to create a delay. We initialize the sensor, calling the initialization function, and we also perform an altitude measurement and assign that to a variable called zero alt. More on that later. In the infinite loop, we call sensor.values and assign the results to temp C, press PA for pascals, and hume RH for humidity relative. Pressure is returned in pascals, so we convert that to hectopascals by dividing by 100. And then we just print the data. In the print statement, we convert temp C, which is a number, into a string for easy printing. And then we just concatenate that with the unit degree C. And we do the same thing for pressure in hectopascals with HPA. And finally, we concatenate the humidity with percent RH. Now, did you know you can also infer altitude or at least changes in altitude by using air pressure. If I comment out this print statement with Alt-3, and I'll uncomment this altitude demo with Alt-4, we can see this is going to call sensor.altitude to read the altitude in meters, and it takes the difference with the very first altitude reading we took at the start of the script. If I save this file, and then I'll right click, upload to micro bit, I'll overwrite the file in the micro bit, and press Control D. Now we're reading a rather noisy altitude. What do I mean by that? As you can see, it's fluctuating around a little bit. Now the driver for this sensor actually includes some filtering capability. So when we initialize the sensor, we can add the argument IIR, which is an infinite impulse response. It's just a type of filter. And we'll pass that the parameter three, which is the amount of filtering. Larger numbers provide smoother results, but they're slower to respond. I'll stop the script, save my file with control S, upload again, and reboot with control D. Now we can see that the data is jumping around a lot less. And if I raise the sensor up, 
the altitude actually climbs. And then if I bring it back down, the altitude should fall again. And that's pretty amazing. We're reading very small differences. We're able to detect very small differences in altitude from just the air pressure. Now, of course, if you blew on the sensor or like sucked air through a straw over it, you could change that reading dramatically as well. Give it a go. So there you have it, reading some atmospheric conditions and even measuring altitude using a PicoDev atmospheric sensor and a micro bit. If you make anything cool out of this starter project, it'd be great if you shared it on the Core Electronics forums. That's also the best place to get any technical advice for these tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.